Hello everyone, this is an ESP32 based web control robot car built using an A219 motor driver and ultrasonic sensor. The special features of this project is that it supports both manual mode and automatic optical overdose mode. With this build, you can drive the car directly from your web browser. No special app is required. You can control the robot from your mobile phone or PC via Wi Fi. Simply turn on Wi Fi, connect to the ESP32 car network, and enter the password 128. Then open your browser and go to 192.168.4.1. You will see the control buttons on the screen, allowing you to drive the ESP32 car easily. In manual mode, the car can be controlled using a push and hold method, giving you a smooth and precise movement. You can also turn on the automatic optical overdose mode directly from the web interface. When this mode is enabled, the car starts moving forward automatically. If an optical is detected in front, the car will stop, move backward, turn left or right, and then continuously move in forward again. Another important feature is that the speed, manual mode, and automatic mode can be adjusted separately through the code, allowing better control and safer movement during optical overdose. Before we move forward with the video, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and like the video. Now let's take a look at what components are required to build this project. For this project, I am using a 4 wheel chassis kit. To see how to assemble the 4 wheel chassis kit, click the card above. I am using an ESP32 ROM 38 pin board for this build. To make the wiring processes easier and cleaner, I am also using an ESP32 expansion board. The expansion board is optional. All the components required to build this project are listed in the purchase links provided in the description below. Mount the ESP32 board, L219 motor driver and battery holder onto the chassis kit as shown. You can download the complete wiring diagram and source code for this project from the web article available on robotelke.co. Other request links are provided in the description below. Make sure to connect all the components exactly according to the wiring diagram for proper operation. Make sure to remove the two micro jumpers on the ENA and ENB pins of the motor driver. Mount the ultrasonic sensor at the front of the car as shown.
download the Arduino code from the website. It will be provided as a zip file. Extract the zip file and open the code using the Arduino ID. In this project, analog write is not directly supported on ESP32. The let setup is used for PW control. However, this method does not work properly starting for the ESP32 board core version 3.0. Therefore, you can need to install an ESP32 board core version 2.x. Install ESP32 board core version 2.0.14. In the code, you can adjust the manual speed and auto speed value at the indicated section. The auto speed value controls the speed using an optical logic mode. If you are testing or operating the car on the table, it's recommend to keep the auto speed between 190 and 210 for better control and safety. The maximum speed value can be increased up to 255 if needed. Next, connect your ESP32 board to the PC using a USB cable. In the Arduino ID, select ESP32 demo module as the board and choose the correct COM port. Then upload the code. If the board does not automatically enter upload mode during compilation, press and hold the boot button until the upload starts. Once the code is successfully uploaded, you can control the car via Wi-Fi from your mobile phone or PC. With this build, you can drive the car directly from your web browser. No special app is required. You can control the robot from your mobile phone or PC via Wi-Fi. Simply turn on Wi-Fi, connect to the ESP32 car network and enter the password 128. Then open your browser and go to 192.168.4.1. You will see the control buttons on the screen, allowing you to drive the ESP32 car easy. In manual mode, the car can be controlled using a push and hold method, giving you a smooth and precise movement. You can also turn on the automatic optical this mode directly from the web interface. When this mode is enabled, the car starts moving forward automatically. If an optical is detected in front, the car will stop, move backward, turn left or right, and then continuously move in forward again. I believe this project will help you gain valuable knowledge in both robotics and IoT while having fun control your ESP32 car. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share it with others, and subscribe to the channel. Until we meet again with another exciting robotics project, wish you all the best.